before he can get to the animals abroad. There are some here in Michigan that need tending to. Rosemary has a paint horse, Sammy, that got a little bit too close to a porcupine. We had taken a few of them out, and she got very wise to that. And I'm sure it's very, very, very sore. So she's uh, a little bit leery about us coming close to her. If Dr. Pohl doesn't remove the quills, they could lead to a pretty nasty infection. Yeah, she's already wise to this. Let me see. How, how bad is it? Most of the time, it's dogs. But yes, we've seen porcupine quills in horses, in pigs, in steers. They just put the nose to it to want to find out what kind of animal it is. And then the porcupine swings his tail. Ow! <laughs> and whoa, they got a bunch of porcupine quills in their nose. Doc has to work on a rather sensitive and wounded nose. Sammy is going to need some help calming down. Now, the horse, we don't have to lay out flat. We just give it a tranquilizer painkiller and just start pulling quick. If you don't get them out, you can have a big chance of a big infection around it. Here, feel this. Feel how rough they are. Oh, yeah. These quills have a barb on it, and when you pull them out, Yes, it hurts more than going in. Yeah, two at a time. And especially a horse's nose that is so sensitive, pulling them out hurts like the dickens. Hey, four more to go. A necessary evil to prevent even more pain down the road. Sammy's not having fun. Would you have fun if you had porcupine quills in your nose? Poor baby. And the last one, right now. In no time flat, we have the quills out. OK, turn them loose. So after a little while, the tranquilizer wore off, and he'll be as happy as before. OK, you're done. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. It was quick for the horse. I am very pleased with the way that they came out. OK, guys? OK, all right, thank you very well, you much, You bet, Dad. thanks. He's our go-to vet, always has been. <laughs>